All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. And double honors as always to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. All right, that's you, brothers, and you, sisters, who are coming back to the obedience of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. All right, through the Holy Spirit that has been sent. All right, to us in these latter days. All right, starting with the servants, the prophets, who have been ultimately given the charge to sing the new song. All right, which would be at the forefront of changing the minds. All right, of the elect. All right, moving them to fear in the Lord as this world is telling us to fear them their science bow to them being the chosen bow to you know their image you know the prophets have been given the duty of keeping our people on track as paul said i've espoused you to one husband all right and that one husband is yahweh bahasham yahweh shai all right we're getting back to the father all right through yahweh shai okay and that will be the marriage where you know we're uh, complete you know we're back to our perfection to where we no longer have to worry about sin having any form of dominion over us and we can fru uh, fru freely rule this earth in righteousness man that's what we want that's what this message is for and we see that the powers that be are preparing to make this message illegal all right we'll get to that um in the next news and prophecy i got a few things lined up just been a lot going on uh, so i haven't uh, had a chance to uh deal with certain things but the word is still going out um this is uh rolling in the spirit i wanted to address real quick um you're seeing synonymously with our enemy getting ready to make his move you know the, the uh, on the flip side you got jake you know these uh fickle ass israelites you know uh preparing to help them you know with the persecution and a lot of these people who you see on these videos all right were plants from the get-go now you have this individual i don't know his name but i've seen him before um as you can see here this is uh gms south carolina 08 the uh elder brother manata zakba has done a video on this individual um doing a video of why he left the hebrew israelite cult and there's no way you can leave from being an israelite you see what i'm saying you're born an israelite ultimately you're chosen from the foundation to be an israelite and when you're born the spirit that goes you know into that sperm cell nourished by the egg all right it's going to be an israelite so you can't leave off from being an israelite but what it is is a lot of these individuals are lukewarm <clears throat> they do their ministry uh you know they watch the camps they learn from the camps but then you know they don't like what comes with it and um a lot of them you know some of them go to vocab malone's couch just complete sellouts all right and, and they're doing videos now we're living at the height of wickedness and evil all right and you're gonna do a video talking about why i left the hebrew israelite cult all right now you do have a lot of wicked israelite camps and yahweh shai went through that and, and this is the thing men don't want to go through what, what yahweh shai went through as the scriptures say, all right, as we'll get it before we end this lesson, I'm driving so I can't get, but it talks about, you know, men trying to come up some other way. They don't want to enter in by the door. The door is dangerous to go through because you have to go through the path of Yahweh Shai, man, and keep your oath, all right, and ultimately fulfill your sacrifice, man. So here it is. We get to the very end and you got individuals, all right, just coming up against the camps, all right, now when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, you had camps, okay? And a lot of them were off, all right? They, they, they believed in the Most High God, Yahweh, but they rejected the sun. And the sun came to gather from amongst those camps of the circumcision, and, and, and they believed on him. And he gave them power to be the sons of God. But what came with that was persecution from the other camps, all right? And ultimately, uh, Yahweh Shai had to be numbered amongst the transgression. Not once did he blame the truth. You see what I'm saying? He kept it, you know, he, he kept it a buck. He kept his oath in spite of what came with it. All right. 
and we have to now follow in all of those steps. So what you're seeing is a lot of Israelites acting funny, getting weird. All right, now is not the time to be acting all weird and doing all of this stupid stuff. You got camps. I saw, you know, which I, I, I planned on doing a video on it, but I just hadn't got to it yet. One body, Dallas. Okay, we're not going to call him one body, Yahweh Shai. They, they, Yahweh Shai has nothing to do with those guys, man. Have completely flipped the script. See? Now they're, 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 all they do is get on video and condemn one weth, one weth, one weth. And our apostles and elders have always given us the history of one west. All right? And, and they've never held back from letting us know that it became corrupted. All right? But the truth came from there, and it's, synony it's the same thing as the temple. When uh, uh, John the Baptist came on the scene, his family was born of a, a family who were dealing in the temple. His father, Zacharias, the direct descendants of Aaron. All right. So, yeah, the, the, the temple. All right. is still a part of our history. It's still a part of our truth. But we know even Yahweh Shai's story. When he went in there, he flipped over the tables because it got corrupted. The leadership got wicked. They started, you know, uh, 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 linking in with Rome. You see what I'm saying? And pretty much, you know, the leadership got tainted. This is why John the Baptist separated from the temple and went and preached in the wilderness, man. And this is what our apostles and elders did. All right. When everything got broke up, you know, I don't like to speak, you know, on, on you know, I like people who were there to actually speak on it. But, you know, I, I have been around men who were eyewitnesses. So when things got corrupted. All right. Hey, the, the spirit had our apostles and elders split from that mess. All right. But you can't sit there and act like one West wasn't a part of this truth coming to what it was. It just got corrupted, just like the temple got corrupted. John the Baptist, as you can see, he left the temple. He could have, you know, went in there and, you know, got political and said, well, I'm a priest of this particular lineage of Aaron. I, I deserve this. I can be in this order. No, he left because Jake got wicked. Just like our apostles and elders did, man. And, and they went to the wilderness and preached. And ultimately, fruits start coming in, all right, from 2000 to around 2007. You know, they were just preaching. Then 2007 came the Great Awakening, which all of these people who are, are, are YouTube Israelites, okay, they, you, you, you woke up from one of those camps, all right, who ultimately learned from the apostles, elders, uh, you had Bishop Nate there. Zabak was always there. All right. Uh, uh, General Yohanna ISUPK was here and there. You know, they were like the uncle that just shows up, you know, to some function, but you never really see him much. You had uh, Elder Rakov, GOCC. And you had a few other camps. HODC 12 was here and there. Right. So we all, you know, ultimately learned. We, we, we woke up, you see. And then as things started to get you know, a uh, 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 flourish, we started to see who was who and what is what through the warnings of our apostles and elders, man. And it all came out to be true. All right. But through all of the persecution, through all of the hell, through what came with it, not once did we turn around and blame the camps and the truth. All right. For the, 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 the bitterness that comes with it. No, it, co it comes with it, man. So now you have this group, one body, Yahweh Shai, who pretty much all they do is sit up after all, talking all that shit, all right, all these years, going out on the highways, now all of a sudden, their their duty is to pretty much make the camps look bad. Now they're telling you the Most High doesn't love Jacob, but he loves Esau. He doesn't hate Esau anymore. That was only for a particular time. He only loved Jacob for a particular time. Are you crazy? And when you look at the comment board, Okay, you see a bunch of cons and uh, fires and heart, and, and I believe that those are bots. I believe that this is a 100% set up camp. Then you got this guy here. Why are you doing a video at the very end of this thing where you see our enemy getting ready to uh, 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 roll on us? You see the anti sim thing. We got to address that. You know, they got these protests that just popped up. Then all of a sudden, now they're banning anti sim talk. Okay, that's a they coming against the prophets. So these dudes are getting Nick, this nigga scared, as, as that nigga said in Juice, man. Excuse my, you know, but hey, y'all scared. Y'all are scared, man. We at the very end of this thing, and then you're gonna switch it up, and now you're gonna be used as a tool to further oppress the camps. Now we get on camps, 
don't get it twisted. We 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 show them their offense. A part of the uh, gospel, a part of doing this work, is to show our people their tra their transgressions. So yeah, we get on camps, but at the end of the day, the truth is still the truth. You see, and you're gonna have more of these weird niggas popping up on Vocab Malone's couch, telling them how he, man, I knew, you know, just sitting on the couch crying and. You know, I didn't like this. I didn't. I didn't. Oh. And now, ultimately, the camps are going to be used as a tool by not only the media but niggas. All right, like that dude, uh, uh, see nice films. Where the hell he at? Where you at? All right, y'all supposed you supposed to be an Israelite. You supposed to continue doing the work. We all, hey man, we all went through hell. We all went through points where we didn't agree. We all went through points where. It was hard. We all went through bitterness coming up in this truth, man. But you're never supposed to turn your back on your how about Shimiyahu Shai because of a mishap that happened to you when you know the story of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man, how he went on that cross and was blameless, right, in that life. Lied on, spit on, ridiculed. He never turned and said the truth ain't the truth. You see? But you're starting to see these weak, fickle, sellout Israelites all take their positions, man. Okay? And it's getting weird. You you got Bishop Nate sitting with uh, with, with ish agents, all right, uh, allowing the narrative that we're grapes to be pushed. Okay, doing all kind of weird and funny things, popping up on all of these podcasts. All right, ultimately the, the devil is getting ready to set up and make his move, man. And a lot of Israelites are going to help him. But see, what y'all don't understand is because you you made that covenant with death, you think that somehow you're going to be exempt from judgment in that the so-called white man is going to take it easy on you. No, your ass is going to be on the news being called a grapist. It's all going to flip on you camps, man. You weirdos out there who didn't want to stand firm and who got scared at the end, man. Okay, it's all going to flip on you, man. Cuz you didn't you don't have the faith enough to believe that we can we 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 can win this battle. So what you're doing is what those wicked spies did at the time of Joshua and Caleb as you had spies from each, you know, you had a representative of each of the 12 tribes, all right? And you had Joshua who represented Ephraim and you had Caleb who represented Judah, right? Of the of the 10 spies who were supposed to go and spy out the Holy Land, all right, before we went and made our move, okay? Only two came back with the right report, all right? And that was what? Joshua and Caleb, which is symbolic, all right, of Judah and Ephraim, the remnant, the elect, all right, the two witnesses, man, the, the of 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 Ephraim and Judah, the elect in the latter days, who will ultimately raise up and have the right message, man. You see, and when they came back, they was like, "We got this. Our Lord is with us. You know, we good. You know what I'm saying? All we got to do is keep the faith, man. Hey, man, it's an angel following us. We good. The angels with us. The Most High is with us. Look, the angels right there. We good. Right. But then you had. All right, the uh, the the other ten spies come back lying. Man, they giants, man. We can't, man. There ain't nothing in that land. We don't need that because they were scared. See, and this is the same thing we see happening amongst these leaders and weirdos who are popping up here in these latter days amongst the flock, man. Okay, the 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 the, the wicked and fickle, all right, pastors, man, who are supposed to be guiding the sheep, all right, but then they're coming with all of these weird doctrines that are popping up out of nowhere telling you that after Yahweh Shai reigns a thousand years, there's going to be a war started by Russia and Gog and man, all of this garbage, just telling you anything. Now hell is in the, in the picture. Okay, things that were never taught. Now all of a sudden camps are just popping up, teaching these things, man. All right, telling you it's okay to get the jab. So what do you think they're going to do when that Haragma come? All right, they're preparing you to bow the knee as an Israelite. See, you as an Israelite should be preparing, all right, uh, 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 to not bow the knee. And the, the mentality of your leadership, because now all of these camps are talking about, see, the Lord wants us to make it here. See, that's all ultimately witchcraft to get you prepared to say, you know what, I got to do what I got to do to make it here. When the, the mindset of the, 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 the remnant is to no more lean on Esau. To make it here, we got to lean on Esau. Our only... Hope is to get the hell up out of here and that this whole system is dismantled. And we understand we're going to lose comforts along the way. This system has to fall. In order for our value 
to, to, to go up and us to go to the next glory, we have this this place has to fall, man. But you have Israelites making it all about, well, you got to make it here and uh, this and this and that. Uh, Y'all, uh, this is a cult. What? Why, why are you using that wording? Oh, the, the, the Hebrew Israelite cult. Then you got weirdos like Sakari. Them, them, them dudes. They just ain't going to stop. Just complete crash dummies doing a video talking about black Hebrew Israelites will receive weapons of mass destruction. So all of you niggas are sellouts and all of you niggas are being used, all right, by the left hand, whether you took a deal personally or whether just the spirit of Satan on you to uh, ultimately help Esau to further persecute the prophets, man. And it's all going to flip on you, man. Why in the hell would you, okay, with, with, with knowing where we are and what position we're in, knowing your position, you're supposed to be a leader. Why would you make a title like that? Now you you got the, the anti sim thing where the small hats are you know at the you know at the forefront of persecution you know they're gonna pass a bill right to where you can't talk about them what 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 prophecy is that show me the prophecy where the true Israelites in the latter days will be protected by Babylon the Great all right by the government of the heathen all right to not be talked about the scripture said we will be a proverb and a byword. The scripture say no one will come to help your ass. <laughs> who who shall bemoan you? Who shall ask you how you doing? Nobody give a damn about the true Israelites. Yet you have this agenda being worked up, all right, to protect the, the these people. Make it illegal to talk about them, man. So all of you dudes are weirdos, man, and may your how about Shimei Asha destroy. The, the 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 those who ain't sincere, even amongst GMS. If you ain't sincere, may your how about Shema Shah destroy your ass, man. Because again, as we always say, uh, just having GMS as your your title that don't make you of the elect. But we know that the heavenly Father has used the apostles, the bishops, okay, the elders to ultimately keep the the doctrine pure and keep it about the doctrine, not make it about being cute, not make it about being the largest number, not make it about being liked. All right. Not making about, you know, uh, uh, you know, making a doctrine to where the woman could be comfortable or making the doctrine to where Israel that's leaving out of the Christian world can just be, you know, put a perm or, or braids on, on Jesus and tan him. No, no, nah, man, we we coming and dismantling all of that, man. You see, and all of you clowns. OK. John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door. See, let's look up this word door. I got a roll, but let's look up this word door real quick, man. Because I'm tired of niggas with cameras and phones looking into the camera, talking shit. I'm tired of you niggas, man. I want the Heavenly Father to melt you niggas, man. But we know and understand some of you may be of the elect. You just going to have to be cursed out and rebuked and chastened unto repentance, man. Because a lot of you are moving stupid, man. The water you how about Shemiah Shah for true leadership that kept it about the word, man. No matter how what you can say, how crazy we sound, how crazy we may look, how boring it may look, how uninter... The bottom line is our leadership kept it about the word. We didn't link the ministry to Rome. We didn't do all of this fancy things to make, to draw. Nah, we just kept it about the word, man. So if you following us, you, you're believing based upon the power of the word and the word alone. Okay. The word for, for door is thyra. All right. The door. All right. And the door represents Yahweh Shah. That's how you get in. Okay. You see, you got Israelites thinking they could just go straight to the most high. Even under the first covenant, you had to go to Aaron. You had to go to the high priest. You had to go to Levi, right? Well, well, uh, right now you 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 got to go through Yahweh Shah and there's a straight path that leads to that door that Jake doesn't want to go through. So now that you're getting scared, see, we're going to boldly continue in what we've been doing. Now we know and know we got to operate with more salt as we get, you know, but, but, but the bottom line is the truth is the truth, man. No matter what we go through, look, don't turn your back on your how about Shimei Shai because things are getting ready to get uncomfortable, man. All right. The door through which sheep go in and out, the name of him who brings salvation and who follows his guidance. And that's Yahweh Shai, man. See, it, 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 it says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door 
into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. The same as a thief and a robber, man. That's you niggas, man. You hirelings. We get to the very end and you, 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 you jump ship. Okay? Now the truth ain't the truth. The camps. The, the Lord ain't the, y'all serve men. I serve God. Well, that, that same old tired, weak excuse. <laughs> Come on, bro. Get out of here. And camps, the, the first camp was the whole nation of Israel, man. The Lord has always dealt with camps, groups, sects. It's just that now we're scattered, all right, and we have what? A diversity of opinions, all right, but there's one truth. Somebody has it according to the scriptures, man. The scriptures said in their mouth would be found no gal. We'll see who, who that body of men were, all right? The scriptures say, then shall be known who is my chosen. But he that entered in by the door of the shepherd, all right, of the sheep, to him the porter opened it, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. See? And as you read here, and when he put it forth his own sheep, he go up before them, and he fought, and they and, and the sheep follow. Alright, for they know his voice. And sheep are very beautiful animals. They they deal with order, all right, but they can get extremely simple, man. This is why our apostles and elders take the approach that they, they take. Okay, because sheep can, can can tend to wonder. And you right now you got a lot of you who you watch this camp, that camp. Look, man, you need to make a decision on what you believe in because this thing is about to uh, uh, break wide open. And they're getting ready to shut Internet preaching down, street preaching down. Okay, in the near future, that's what they're setting up to do with this whole anti-sim thing. It's 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 a roundabout way to come at us because they know Esau knows he can't just come at us. Okay. So he has to paint a narrative. He has to what? S lay a snare for them that rebuke it in the gate. You see? But right here, verse 5, it says, And the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. So if you're of the elect, okay, hey, you're going to start to wake up. You're going to start to have feelings about, wait a minute, my, my leader, these niggas, they lying, man. Something ain't right with this guy. Okay? They, my leader, they moving funny. See? And a lot of these different weird israelite camps a lot of these comments are bots man a lot of these dudes have deals with esau edom man you think that esau edom every movement that jake had esau got up in it. he wiggled his way up in it. you don't think he's up in here right now it may be even plants amongst gms yeah esau's about to he about to do that and a lot of these dudes are getting ready to move funny all right, to go in line with what Esau's trying to push with that anti-Sim thing. All right, because why would a camp say black Hebrew Israelites would receive weapons of mass destruction on the title as clickbait? Huh? Synonymously, they're, they're, they're talking about the persecution of the small hats. Think about it, man. But anyway, hey, if you of the elect, you go wake up and follow the true pastors of Yahweh Shai. All right, and the rest of you niggas are going to be destroyed, man. Shalom.